Hello, my name is Sassafras. I am a certified trick dog instructor and author, and I'm here with my Newfoundland Sirius, who's a champion trick dog, and we're going to teach you how to teach your dog some fun mutt madness games, specifically how to teach your dog to make a slam dunk in the basketball hoop. All right, so to get started, you're going to need a few supplies. Obviously, we're going to need our dog. We're going to need some treats, so I have different high value treats here ready to go. You're gonna use whatever it is that your dog finds exciting. That's what you wanna have. If you use a clicker as a marker for when your dog has done something successfully, you can absolutely have your clicker out. We can also use a verbal marker like yes or good when we're training. And we're going to want to have a ball. I'm using a tennis ball here. You can, I know, very exciting. You can use any ball that comfortably fits in your dog's mouth and that will fit inside your basketball hoop, which is the next thing we need. So you can get a large basketball hoop like this that is designed for toddlers. You can also very inexpensively in dollar stores or dollar sections of grocery stores, I know it's in your basketball hoop, find little basketball hoops like this, which work really, really well for teaching this trick. They also tend to fold flat and don't take up a lot of room to store, which comes in very handy. So once you have all of those supplies, the first thing we need to do is to teach our dog to hold because it's really going to be a three-part trick. It's a hold, it's a drop, and then it's the aim into the basketball hoop. Are we ready? Let's start. So we're going to start teaching our dog to hold with the ball to make this a little bit easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the ball good out to your dog and if they sniff the ball, if they investigate it in any way, you're going to click if you're clicking or you're going to say good and give a treat. Good. What we want to do is we want to, at this stage, reward our dog yes, for any interest in the ball when we're holding it out to them. Yes. And all you do, if your dog isn't sure at first, like that, she got distracted, she wasn't paying attention, you just wait them out, wait until they show interest in the ball, then you say yes and give the treat. Yes. Good girl. And so now our next step is after a few repetitions of that, when your dog is showing interest in the ball, when you're holding it out to them, the next step is going to be, I know, is going to be to up the criteria a little bit and wait until they put their mouth around the ball, trying to either get it out of your hand or just investigating it further. Yes. And so we want to reward at that point when they're putting their mouth entirely around the ball. Yes. Good girl. So now the next step, we can start to introduce a verbal cue when they're putting their mouth hold. Yes. And we're just going to wait for a fraction of a second. We don't need long here. We don't need to try to build the criteria too quickly. The goal is to keep our dog successful. You can have your dog sitting, standing, whatever makes sense for you. Hold. Yes. And we're still hanging on to the ball at this point because we want to make sure they're successful. We're just asking for a second, a couple seconds of their mouth being on the ball. and then we're giving the treat. So at that stage, when your dog is doing that successfully, after a few repetitions, instead of holding the ball you know, tightly in your hand, you can put it flat on your hand and say, hold, yes. And then when your dog takes the ball, we say yes, we reward and we take the ball back. Hold, yes, good. And we're really just looking for a couple of seconds here. They don't need to be holding the ball for a long period of time. Good girl. That's how we're gonna teach the hold. So now, once they're holding the ball, we need them to drop the ball when we want them to in order to make the basketball trick work. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask our dog to hold the ball, and then we're going to show them an exciting treat, and they're gonna drop the ball, and we're going to praise them. Hold. Drop. Yay, good girl. Nicely done. So at that point, you have the ball in their mouth, you put the treat up to their nose, they drop the ball, big party. So that's going to be the beginning ways we get the drop. And you can introduce that drop cue right as you're putting the treat on their nose, right away. Drop. Good. Nicely done. Hold. Drop. Good. And very quickly, you can start to phase out the treat on their nose. Make sure you give your dog a treat when they do drop it. Hold, drop, 
Nicely done, good girl. Oh, drop. Nice. We don't have to ask for a long period of time here. We don't need a lot of that to do the trick. So that's the basics for teaching your dog to hold and to drop. And now we're ready to play some basketball. So for basketball, again, you can use whatever you can find easily. I really find these little dollar store hoops work really, really well for getting started with the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pieces together and add a little bit of complexity where they're gonna have to drop the ball into the hoop, but we're going to help them out at this stage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask our dog to hold the ball and then drop the ball, but we're gonna position the hoop in front of, I know you know where the hoop is, in front of their face so that really they're going to just automatically drop the ball into the hoop. And then we're gonna have a big party and give them treats. Slam dunk, ready? Oop, drop, nice job, good girl, yay! And we wanna reward our dogs right away when they make that happen. And as we're doing that, you can start to introduce the verbal cue of your choice, like basket, slam dunk, whatever you wanna call this trick as they're basket, nice job, as they're dropping the ball into the hoop. Good girl. And you can start to phase out the other verbal cues. They, your dog at this point knows you're holding the ball out to them. They know that you want them to take the ball. So you don't need to say hold anymore because your dog's figured that part out. And your basket or slam dunk, whatever your verbal cue of choice is, is going to take the place of your drop cue. So all you're going to then have is you're gonna have the one cue. Basket, nice job. Girl. The key is to move very, very slowly so our dogs are able to stay successful. So, seriously, you go get your ball for me. Thank you. Good girl. Make a basket. Yes. Good. And this is tricky stuff. They're having to aim. They're having to use a lot of coordination to figure out where that basket is and get the ball into it. She's using a step ladder to make it a little bit easier to get to the hoop. But to start out with, you're going to start same way with your dog right in front of it. Basket. Good girl. Treat and reward for your dog getting the ball right in the basket with you right there helping them. And then slowly you're going to then move yourself away from the basketball hoop so that they can build confidence and distance with getting that basketball into the hoop. So then something you're going to be able to build up to over time is to be able to give your dog the ball and send them out to the hoop to make a basket. Good girl. And then be able to also get your ball, send them to get the ball and make a basket. Good girl. As they get more confident with the trick, they'll be able to do that. But you want to start right next to the hoop so that you can help them make sure they're being successful and then slowly build up your distance from the hoop, the better your dog starts to understand. Well, remember, this is really hard. So what we wanna do is to help our dogs be successful. If they're missing a basket, we're just gonna go back a step. We're gonna put ourselves closer to the hoop. We're gonna set them up right so they're going to drop the ball in the basket, good girl, right when they're handed it to us. And then we're gonna slowly move ourselves further away again to make sure they understand those key components before we make the criteria more complicated. Over time, increasing the criteria so that they are able to get it, make a basket, to make those decisions on their own, figuring out where the basketball hoop is and getting that ball into the basket. And with just a little bit of practice, your dog's going to be ready to make a basket in no time. Make a basket. Good job.